today on Dino Squad. While the team is busy chilling and spilling, Romp gets lost and discovers that the world can be a scary place for a mutant dino dog. Experiment 108-B7. I'm attempting to augment the regenerative abilities of starfish with a new prototype of primordial ooze. Unfortunately, the starfish seem completely unresponsive. What's this? A type of sea slug. Onchidorus bilamolata is having a tremendous reaction. It is a disgusting looking little creature, but not half as disgusting and ugly as humans. Pathetic monkeys swarming all over this lovely planet. Perhaps with the help of this little sea slug and his friends, I will be one step closer to putting an end to the humans' misuse of Earth and bring back the dinosaur. All thanks to you, you ugly little beast. That's right, you. You are one ugly little doggy, huh, Rumpy Rump? The king of all ugly, hands down. Dog or dino. Yes, you are, huh, Rump? Ugly and useless. When are you going to actually do something useful, like, like make me an omelet? Or at least clean up the kitchen, take out the trash? <laughs> or help reprogram the satellite tracking system. Just because he doesn't have opposable thumbs doesn't mean he's useless. <laughs> Maybe not completely useless, but you can't deny that he is ugly. Roger, you should be way above connecting how something looks with what it's got on the inside. Remember the old saying that you can't judge a book by its cover? Okay, I hear you, but remind me again why Rump is so useful. Because Rump, um, Rump makes me happy. Ah! My poor, beautiful cupcake! Devoured! You, you worthless beast! Rump ate my cupcake! That was my afternoon snack, and he ate it! Rump, I thought I trained you better than that. What is it lawyers are always saying on TV? I rest my case. Come on, Rump. You better hang out with me today. <laughs> Not right now, Rump. I'm working here. Cut it out, Rump. Hey, Rump, I mean it. Ow! Rump, go away! Leave me alone! <laughs> Worthless dog. I can't believe I called poor Rump worthless. Uh-oh. He's lost his collar. He can't be outside without his collar. Rump! Rumpy Rump! Come on, boy! Where are you? Rump! I've got your treat jar! Rump! Go Dino! He was here, but he's run off. He must be pretty far away by now. Poor guy. Wonder where he's gone. Stop that parking! Stop it! Dog! 
what you did to my flowers! Who would own a horrible looking dog like that? No, no, not again! It's that horrible monster dog! I'll take care of him! Animal control. I've seen it again. That horrible monster dog. It's big and it's ugly. And it's the one that absolutely almost ruined my business the last time I saw him. Everybody thought I was crazy. But I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm not crazy. The monster dog is back. He's back. And you have to help. You have to help me. Uh, try to stay calm, sir. Uh, this monster dog. You say it's the same one that was rumored to have gone through town a few months back? It is! The very same one! I just saw it! Don't worry, sir. Animal Control Agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer is on the case. Today is the day. I can feel it in my well-laced boots. Today's the day Animal Control Agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer, which is me, is going to catch the monster dog. Rump! Rump, where are you? Guys, Rump's run away. Again? Good riddance to that cupcake-stealing chowhound, if you ask me. Cut him some slack, Caruso. Yeah, poor Rump. I doubt if he'll find anyone out there in the big bad world that loves him as much as Fiona does. It's all my fault. I lost my cool and yelled at him, and now he's run off because of me. Don't worry, Fee. We'll find Rump. Right, guys? You bet. I guess. Sure. Huh? We got a big signal of mutant sores up the coast. It's growing. Look, I understand how you feel, but we can't allow a mutant sore situation to go unchecked. I know. I'm just worried about poor Rumpy Rump, that's all. Don't sweat it, Fiona. Rump will be fine. He can take care of himself. What could possibly go wrong? Tell me you didn't just say that with a straight face. Where have you been, Buzz? On the moon? It's Rump! Wallace P. Gutmeyer is going to capture that monster dog if it's the last thing he, I mean, I, do. <laughs> that monster dog doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> This monster dog was here. The camera stays on me. You'll we'll just say yes. Yes. Good. Never fear, sir. Animal control agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer will catch this monster dog, making the streets safe once again. To that end, I've been busily picking up every dog I've seen out today, just in case. You can never be too careful. The monster dog could be hiding anywhere. The more dogs I take off the street, the easier it will be to find him. That's the beauty of my genius. <laughs> So I said, like, trash is not my job, okay? And he so said that it was. Yeah, so unfair. That's what I said. Wait a minute. That's not right. There's something in the dumpster. I don't know what it is. Just look at it. Here, check it out. See? Told ya, I'm not delirious. It's really ugly and scary. <laughs> Good idea. Check it in the dumpster. Ugly and useless. Worthless beast! Horrible dog! Totally ugly! And up to no good! I'm 
starting the containment procedure now. Be prepared to take the mutant saws back to the ship on my signal. Ready and waiting, Dr. Velocity. Have fun, guys. The specimens are contained. Now hurry. I want them taken back to the laboratory for vivisection as quickly as possible. There's another sub down here. Surprise! Gotcha. Ew! Gross! Velocity's mutated some kind of sea slug. Cool! I am so gonna take one home as a pet. We have to rescue them first, Buzz. Better catch some air. Go Dino! believe there is any need for cruelty to animals here, sir. Besides, how would you like to be threatened with a stick? Um, I just remembered I got an appointment to get a haircut. Uh, bye now. Okay, little fella. You're all good now. Someone wants to follow me. What is it, little fella? <coughs> All right, come on. Let's get you something to eat. Get out here and help get this submarine off of me. taking care of this submarine myself. That can't be good. Sorry, Vic, but I don't have time to play games. I saw you bring that stray dog in here. You know as well as I do that this apartment building has a strict no pets policy. <sighs> Jarvis, really? It's a policy I firmly believe in. Pets, nothing but trouble. Worthless, all of them. And this one is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. He's got to be extra worthless. I want you to know I've already called animal control. Oh, darn. I locked myself out again. And I left my soup on the stove. Darn it! Darn it! I'm hungry. Poor Jarvis has some serious issues. Don't listen to that man. I know exactly how you must feel, you poor puppy dog. Everybody making assumptions about you just because of how you look or how you're made. The fact that I'm different, my blindness, leads others to make all sorts of incorrect assumptions about what I can do, what I feel, my hopes and dreams. Don't worry, little guy. I understand you. Really, Jarvis? No, ma'am. Animal Control Agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer. I received a call about a stray dog.
Just look at those little slugosaurs. They are so wicked cute. Did I hear someone order a de-using? It's time to chill and spill. Now can we go find Rump? In you go. Like I told that poor lady with those funny glasses, no proof of dog ownership equals worthless stray. Where to go? Had to borrow the manager's keys. Mr. Jarvis, I, I really need to talk with you. I wasn't intending to break the no pets policy. It's just until I can find his owners. It was unacceptable that... Wait, do you smell something? That's funny. The doorknob's hot. Don't open that door! <laughs> Here. Help! Somebody help! Fire! Fire! Is this the right way? No, this way, I think. Hi, fella. Is that you? Hey, what's going on? Okay, boy. I got it. Let's go. I don't remember you having all these spikes on your tail. You obviously need a good brushing. That's right, boy. Good job, boy. Thank you, boy. Sir, hasn't anyone ever taught you anything about fire safety? You had a pot cooking on the stove and you left it unattended. You never do that. Plus, your kitchen was a mess. Greasy towels everywhere. It was a fire just waiting to happen. You should have had smoke detectors in every room. I'm gonna have to talk to your landlord about that. I gotta say, you're lucky you had such a good neighbor and a great dog around. They saved your life. Rump! Rump! I'm so glad we found you! I'm so glad you found him, too. I was hoping he had a home and people that cared about him. He deserves it. That he does! That he does! I, Animal Control Agent Gutmeyer, have seen the monster dog. I had it! And I will find it again! You can count on that! Gutmeyer! Yes, sir? You've got a truck full of dogs with collars and tags. All these dogs have homes. And I want you to personally take each and every one of these dogs to the rightful owners and apologize for grabbing them up off the streets. Yes, sir. And when you get back to the office, you and I need to have a little chat. <laughs> well, Rump, you certainly proved your point to me. <laughs> That's for certain. Looks don't matter. Hello? Crazy talk? No, it's not, Caruso. Roger's trying to say that it's what's on the inside that counts. Oh, I get it. What you're trying to tell me is that while Rump may be ugly as all get out on the surface... He's one heck of a dog on the inside. The absolute best. <laughs> what a cute puppy dog. May I pet him? Of course. Oh, isn't he the most beautiful snuggly little doggy ever? I just love this dog. <laughs> <laughs> Today on Dino Squad, Roger's big head causes big headaches when the Dino Squad attempts to de-use a giant Gorillasaurus. Say ah. 
Well, you look just hunky-dory, Buzz. Your turn, Caruso. Oh man, I just had an annual checkup by our family doctor. Now I have to have a dino checkup too? We could take you to the local vet, Caruso, but then you'd have to get your puppy shots. Oh man. Say ah. I can't do much more than listen to your hearts and take your temperatures. At least not without some better diagnostic equipment. Yeah, now that is some rock and beat. Dude, while you're grooving to the music, we're sweating the important stuff here. Dude, this is the important stuff. I'm not listening to music. I'm listening to my heartbeat with my new dinoscope. The greatest advancement in dinosaur healthcare in the past 250 million years. Now you can listen to our hearts and see them at the same time. Well, I'm happy to tell you your hearts look just fine. Now don't forget to let me know the results of your regular medical checkups, so I'll know you're all in perfect health. And this nifty little gizmo will allow me to send images of all your vital dino organs to a herpetologist friend of mine at the university who'll be able to give us a more thorough evaluation of your dino health. Brilliant, just brilliant. If there was a Nobel Prize for dino medicine, you, Mr. Blair, would definitely win it. It's the nature of the geek. When your IQ's high enough to boil water, the brilliance just bubbles to the surface. Whoa, better let some of that air out of your head before it pops, Roger. We may not be as smart as you, but brains aren't everything. I've seen you on the football field. And I've beaten you on the racetrack plenty of times. I could be good at football if I wanted to. And anyone can ride a dino cycle, but only I can invent the technology to build one. When it comes to the important stuff, here's where the talent lies. You're all very special in my eyes. And your self-confidence is a valuable trait that can help us accomplish our goals. Ah, I'd hope that adding petroleum to the primordial ooze would enhance the mutations. What's good are mutants that only transform when frightened? Dump this batch. You've got to start over. What's up, Ms. M? It looks as though Velocity's released a great deal of ooze into the ocean. That beast has no concern for the environment. Oh, he's concerned, all right. Concerned about maximizing global warming so the world will be a nice, steamy breeding ground for the return of the dinosaurs. We've got to clean up this mess. That doesn't look like any other ooze spill we've seen. You're right, Max. It's remaining on top of the water's surface and not dissipating like it usually does. Its attributes seem more like crude oil than primordial ooze. Sounds like we need to do some more research before going after it. Speak for yourself, Maxwell. As an environmentalist and an inventor, I've got just the thing to suck up an oil-based ooze slick. My new and improved Super Duper Ooze Vac Backpack. This little dreamboat not only drinks ooze by the gallon, it'll do carpets and drapes. But wait, there's more. By switching it into reverse, It'll even blow up party balloons! Yeah, well, that's a really spiffy invention you've got there, Roger. But one thing I know from years of football, if you want the plays to come off as planned, you've got to practice them first. Practicing first is the best way to go. Even the astronauts run through their moves on Earth before executing them in space. But that slick is expanding at an alarming rate. I'm on it! <laughs> All right, guys, hook these neoprene tubes together and corral the slick with them. I'll vacuum it up. Hey, these are like the ones I used to use in the city pool. You sure you don't want to practice this first, Roger? Practice is for amateurs. Just get the tubes in the water. I'll position the boat. Oh boy! Slick move, Roger. Now you've pushed the ooze into a fog bank. Gonna make it harder to see what we're doing. Maybe you should let me steer. I know how to steer a dumb boat. It was a... 
a sticky throttle. I'll start vacuuming, you steer. Ladies and gentlemen, mission accomplished. Courtesy of Roger Blair's sensationally slick gizmo. What about our slick corralling? And my slick steering. And my slick... slickness? This is Mother Saurus. The satellite scanner has picked up dino signs in your area. I've downloaded the coordinates to your GPS system. Okay, Ms. Roger that, Mother Saurus. We'll handle it. I like the look of that. Looks abandoned. Wow. I know this logo. They're a wildlife rescue organization. They rehabilitate injured animals and then return them to their natural habitats. Whatever wild thing shattered that crate wears size 100 Tripoli shoes. Dino! Yep, the dreaded flying Flagosaurus. The crew must have taken the lifeboat. We'd better notify the Coast Guard. Whatever caused them to abandon ship has moved inland. That's weird. The mutant tracks just end. Look at this. They're baby gorilla tracks. The little thing must have run off when it saw the mutant. How are we going to follow the mutant without footprints? Duh. What detects mutants, ooze, and came from the magnificent miracle between my ears? Earwax? My scanner! Brilliant! Just what I need to get this horrible itch that's been bugging me all afternoon. <sighs> Look what you did, Caruso. It's all staticky. Don't sweat it, Roger. We've always got our noses. What good are our noses? Not our real noses, our dino noses. Dinosaurs are much better natural trackers than humans. Fiona's right. T-Rexes have the best sense of smell. I'll see if I can pick up the scent. Go, dino! Huh? Go, dino! It's not about the best nostrils, bro. It's about the best brains. I'll find that mutant. Wild jungle, dinosaurs, a gorilla? This is so familiar. It's that old movie I saw. Yeah, what an opportunity. I'll shoot our search, upload it to the internet, become a famous movie director, then I'll win one of those little gold statues. What's his name, Oswald? This is gonna be so hot. Dr. Velocity, we're picking up something on an island in the Atlantic. We have no active mutant experiments in that quadrant. These don't look like mutant signatures. Perfect dinosaurs. Prepare the helicopter. We're going to that island. Hold it. Fi, fo, fu. I can smell our mutant chum. He's just beyond these trees. And he smells dangerous. What I'm getting doesn't smell threatening at all. I'm gonna deuse that loser. <sighs> Munchkin. 
I think the little gals found a new mother. I know how to handle primates. They're very intelligent, just like humans. I'll show you. See, what I tell you, just like a human. I'll spill. I'll chill. Get ready to chill her. I'll cover you. And I'll cover the shot. I, I told you I smelled a mutant. A big one. It doesn't matter if you were right or wrong, Roger. Let's just put this baby to bed. Get your dino rump out of the way, Max. Oh. I gotcha. She must have thought I was going to hurt him. Oh, great. Now she's in protective mother mode. Roger, see if you can fix that scanner. Yeah, right. I'll have it working in a sec. What do you want? Emotion, pathos. I want my audience to know the inner turmoil of my brilliant leading man as he struggles to overcome his personal inadequacies. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not perfect, but I'm still smart enough to capture that mutant. Got it. Come on. Sir, we've lost the dinosaurs, but we've still got the mutant reading. Move in on it. <laughs> you want to protect me, don't you? But you're really the scared little gorilla baby who's all alone in a great big jungle. <laughs> When none of my friends or family are around and I'm feeling lonely, sometimes I play video games. I got a game you might like. <laughs> yeah, you rock! But you'll dig the gizmo in music mode, too. A dancing mutant. Awesome. I don't believe what I'm seeing. I'm white. <laughs> huh? Hey, little one, you're back. Now the mutants vanished too. There's still a faint signal, sir. It's too weak to be a mutant or a dinosaur. Now we better check it out. Buzz, I thought you were gonna save me a dance. The little gal just morphed back to normal all of a sudden. I wonder why. Let's de-ooze her before she goes mutant again. No, no, no. This is way too boring of an ending for my cinematic masterpiece. I need something big, something dramatic, something like Velocity's beastly helicopter heading right for us. Forget it, Caruso. Like we're going to wait around for your perfect ending? We don't have to. Velocity's helicopter is heading right for us. We've got to go Dino before he gets close enough to recognize us. You guys always want to go Dino at the first sign of trouble. It's human brains that'll get us out of this mess, not Dino Brawn. Whoa, slow down a minute, Roger, before your self-confidence morphs into a full-blown egosaurus. I hate to remind you, but you have made a few mistakes today. Where were your brains then? Okay, so maybe I don't know everything, but I do know how to save our Dino next. 
Velocity Scanner tracks ooze and dinos just like mine. So if we go dino, he'll probably spot us. But if we stay human and run for cover into the jungle, he'll have no way to track us. Whoever they are, they've got something that's registering on the scanner. We'll have them surrounded in a few minutes. Get it. They shouldn't have been able to find us so easily. But they did. Now what's the plan, Brainosaurus? I guess we better run that way. We're trapped. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, guys. I may have geek tech coming out of my ears, but I just didn't want to admit that I'm not really that hot at most other things. And as hard as it is for me to admit that, there's something that's even harder for me to say. I don't know how to get us out of this. Maybe Ms. Moynihan can help. They're just ahead of you. Move in! I don't know how they tracked us, but they'll be here any second. I see. Did you vacuum up the ooze spill? Yeah. And you're wearing the backpack now? Uh-huh. Why? Velasi is tracking the ooze in your backpack. That's also why your scanner is acting up. Oh man, how'd I miss that? So now that I feel even more like a failure, can you help get us out of this mess? Oh, I can't do that, Roger. But that baby gorilla Saurus you found, she might be able to. You say she went mutant when she was under stress? Through those trees. Hurry! Here they come. Okay, guys. This time I'm sticking to what I'm good at and letting you do what you do best. Go, Buzz! Oh, oh. <laughs> We flushed one out. It's a pteranodon. A perfect one. Capture mode. Colossi's got buds. Perfect. Ah! Gorilla girl, help! Ah! <laughs> Forget about the mutant. Capture the perfect one! Now that's what I call terrific teamwork. What an ending! Spectacular! 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 Today's gonna fill an entire chapter in my diary. Cleaned up a spill, took out Velocity, saved an abandoned gorilla. Yeah, don't worry, Munchkin. The Coast Guards let your wildlife rescue folks know that you'll be safe with us. And they're going to see that you get back to your home jungle. In the meantime, you can stay in my room. Now that's a real jungle. Guys, I'm really sorry I was being such a know-it-all. I just thought being smart meant my ideas were better. Being confident is a good thing, Roger. But knowing what you don't know can be as important as knowing what you do know. I knew that. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Roger, but I know everything about filmmaking. And this movie is just too fantastic for words. And I've got the perfect title for it. Caruso? Erwin Caruso's thriller of a chiller, Dino Gorilla Invades Manila. Uh, Caruso. I know, I know, it wasn't Manila, who cares? It's not that. I tried to tell you before, in the high resolution mode, you only get about 10 seconds of record time. What? Well, then what did I shoot? Statues! What's his name, Oswald? <laughs> it's gone! Technically speaking, it was never really there in the first place. Know it all. <laughs> Today on Dino Squad, 
The team battles an outbreak of mutant hedgehogs, and Fiona's little sister makes a bad situation even worse when she tries to help. I'm okay. You won't be when I get through with you. As promised, Aunt Louise's totally original award-winning chicken sausage and mushroom paella. You would not believe the day we had. I'm talking about one major freakazoid mutation. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. Paella? Thanks. They were mutant hedgehogs. I mean, they can be only so menacing. At one point, Buzz and Caruso tried to lasso one like it was the hedgehog rodeo, and Caruso wound up face down in the mud. He was so annoyed, his hair was caked with mud. And Buzz was like, What are you complaining about? You see what it did to my mohawk? So what's new with you, sugar? Nothing much. And then you drop this program from your executables, and voila, your computer's twice as fast. I never thought of that. Comes from years and years of crashing my computer. Oh, like you've never crashed a server. I'm a football player. When am I going to use algebra in the real world? Your team is down by 12. What's the least you have to do to win? That's easy. Get two touchdowns and convert the point after. Really? Each touchdown is worth six points, so you need two of them to make 12 for the tie. And each point after is worth one, so you get two touchdowns and one PAT, and boom, you're ahead. Congratulations! You just use algebra in the real world. Whoa! These are Mondo readings! Lake Mic Mac, more hedgehogs? I could have sworn we got them all. Maybe you missed some of the ooze in the area? We'd better go double check. Suit up, guys. My very first mission! Wrong. Absolutely not. And in case you missed it, no. You're not the boss of me. I agree. See? I'm agreeing with Fiona. It's too dangerous to be out there when you can't morph. But I can do other things. Yeah, like manning the computers here. That's your expertise. Stuck on satellite duty? What's that about? <sighs> you get to go on missions all the time. And you're a dog. <laughs> Chill in and spill. Let's hope we've seen the last hedgehogosaurus. More hedgehogs? That was the big threat? Well, thanks for keeping me here so far from all of the danger. For all we know, it could have been prehistoric land roving sharks. This is so not right. You guys get to morph and everything. Why don't you focus on what you can do? Because anybody can do what I do. Who can't sit in front of a computer pushing a mouse? Prehistoric Van Roving Shark? Would it have gills or lungs? I was just wondering the same thing. Don't devalue your gifts that way. What you do really is important. And although sometimes it means doing things that are less exciting, using your skills in a way that best serves the team is just a matter of good judgment. You want excitement? I'm working on something really amazing. Let me guess. Combination gyroscope and mocha latte chino maker? <laughs> Presenting the Dino Personnel Carrier. 600 horsepower, zero emission, three motor design, titanium alloy axles, a windshield that can withstand a T-Rex, and at Roger's insistence, a chai tea dispenser. Fiona's tricked out the mechanicals, but I need help debugging the Navi computer. Trey, cool. Count me in. Ah! 
I'm picking up some pretty solid readings here. It's in the same area as the hedgehogs. You said you were certain you found all of the ooze. We did. I'm sure we got it all. You have to do a thorough search of the area. There must be a reason we're seeing these recurrences. Can I please go along this time? It's just more hedgehogs. What if it turns out to be something more dangerous? Like what? Adolescent mutant samurai aardvarks? Sorry, kiddo, but good judgment means that this is the best place for you to use your unique skills. Sir, I'm picking up a new signature. Aside from the animals we mutated? Affirmative. Could it possibly be those elusive, perfect dinosaurs? At last! It works? The new tracking system works perfectly! I wonder what happens when I plug into the navigation computer on this. Awesome interface! Roger's gonna be totally psyched. I can't wait to show him. Hey, maybe I won't wait. What's she doing here? Making a mess? You better do something before anything bad happens. Go, Dino! Flash, T Max. Something bad just happened. We can't help her without exposing our human identities to Velocity's forces. I'm starting to see the upside of staying in the lighthouse. I'll lead them away. You take care of Terry. The T-Rex takes first priority! After it! I'm okay. You won't be when I get through with you. Guys, I think I found their hide. Maybe that'll be a lesson to you. What were you thinking? Latte should have only a whisper of cinnamon. This is a full-blown shout. Lost them. We should get going while the going is good. Hedgehogs? Beavers? Since there's more than one kind of mutant in the area, I'm thinking we're looking for a major spill. We've got to locate and eliminate it now. We can't keep coming back here. There's gonna be some trick with the area crawling with Velocity's oozer losers. Which is why I brought this handy dandy little gadget. A combination ooze tracker and motion detector for spotting spills and avoiding Velocity's henchmen. It's also good for getting out stubborn stains. Although I like to take full credit, the motion tracker itself wasn't working reliably until Terry worked out the kinks. See? My mad skills on the tech more than make up for my lack of field experience. Sorry, Terry. It doesn't make up for your lack of judgment. 
After all, you did almost get us captured by Velocity's goons. Speaking of which, we're about to have company. We lost them, sir. No matter. Now that I have proof those perfect dinosaurs can be lured back to this area, I can deploy my master project. You're banishing me? I'm sorry, but you've left me no choice. At least until you prove that you've learned to exercise better judgment. These readings are off the scale. Lake Micmac again? This has to be about more than testing mutations. I'm concerned it's related to your encounter there with Velocity's henchmen. Are you suggesting we just ignore it? I'm suggesting you employ every caution. The reading seems to be coming from there. Only it can't be a spill because it... it's definitely moving. Yeah, moving right toward us. Which means we need to... Go, go Dino! My masterpiece. The Mecha Mutation. A blending of ooze and machine. The perfect device to hunt down and capture those elusive dinosaurs. Success! This isn't a randomly mutated animal, which means it had to be created by Victor Velasco. Guys, little help? Buzz, keep it busy. On it, T-Max. When we're done here, can I take a nap? Hmm. Back off! Keep your distance from that thing. <laughs> There's no telling what else it can do. By the looks of them, they contain Tritanium Alloy, Anti-Gravity, Naju... Never mind the science! Run! At last! I found them! An authentic T-Rex, Stegosaurus, Pteranodon, Spinosaurus, and even a Styracosaurus! How could we change back with these things following us? Soon. So soon. Genetically perfect dinosaurs will be under my control. And I alone will hold the key to recreating true dinosaurs. When will Fiona be home? I have no idea. She's probably out with the guys having the time of her life. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to make it home in time for dinner? Anybody else starting to miss giant hedgehogs and beavers? I, for one, am tired of letting these things get the better of us. Time for us to start scoring points on them! Remind me not to play billiards with the T-Rex. Nice going, Max. You got them all. Great. Let's change back before... No! We have to track down that mechanical monster while we can. For all we know, it's programmed to follow us home. Get real. How would that thing possibly follow us? In theory, it could hone in on our genetic signatures or the specific pheromones given off by the ooze whenever we change into dino. You just had to ask, didn't you? It's no use. I can't get into Velocity's system to find out how to defeat that thing. But I know just who might. Wait, you want me back? After the way I put everyone in danger? You did show bad judgment, but you also have a lot of unique skills, and the team and I need you now. 
This mechanical ooze automaton appears to run from a centralized computer core, which is streaming information to Velocity through his satellite link. And you want to sever the connection? Absolutely not. Tapping into Velocity's system is the only way into that monster. I slip in through the back door, shut down its operating system. No more monster! I like the sound of that. Oops! We got spotted by the firewall. Maybe if I... He's got some firewall. Our buddies are back. They're way too fast. And there are way too many. <laughs> the DPC's computer runs independently from the lighthouse's system. It should still be fully operational. Visible barrier? Not fair. I know. I totally had that idea first. We aren't going anywhere. And if we change back, Velocity will know we're human. So what now? Yep, still online. I'm in. And if I can adjust my firewall in time, I can stop his system from invading this computer. This cannot be good. Oh, great. Now I'm riding the bumper cars. Any luck, Terry? Big time. I'm already inside Velocity's system. If I can just make my way to the root directory. Oh, man. This cannot get any worse. News flash. It just did. It's OK. Just a little pushback from Velocity Fire. It's too dangerous. Abandon the mission. I just need a few more seconds and... Ha! There you are, my critical little operating files. Velocity sure did a great job hiding you, but not good enough to stop me from doing this. This little piggy got deleted. And this little piggy got deleted, too. And this little piggy got lost on the way to market. And this little piggy went goodbye. Terry, get out now! I'm glad I learned not to argue with you, Ms. Moynihan. That was close. Were you able to get into that monster's operating system? You betcha. Things are looking bad for our team. But even worse for theirs. What's going on? Our Navi computer's offline. We're flying blind, sir. Who's in control? Right now? Nobody, sir! How gross is that? Gross schmoes. At least we're free. What about Velocity? I was so close. So close. Ooh, I can't get out of this pitiful human form. <laughs> Are you just going to stand there? Get me out of here. And how did I know my little sister was behind that monster's falling apart? Only trying to make up for putting everybody in danger before. Pretty bad judgment on my part. Maybe so, but you've shown good judgment too, along with some truly unique strengths. You're going to make a great member of the Dino Squad, even if you aren't a dinosaur. You really think so? You kidding? The way you stayed inside that Dino DPC when it was going crazy? I wish I had your fearlessness, not to mention your computer savvy. We all have our own mad skills. The way you were swatting those drones with your tail. If you were batting for Boston, you'd have been hitting them right out of the park. That's true. 
Not to mention the fact that nobody is better at perfecting a hairstyle than I am. Wait a minute. What happened to the DPC? Good question. Terry, where's our car? I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. Don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA. Now we're trying to.